Jesus Christ is Lord, yeah. Jesus Christ is Lord, yeah. If it is all, I would have told you. But see, you first the kingdom of God, and everything has been added to you. But see, you first the kingdom of God, and everything has been added to you. So unfortunately, right now we live in a society where men are weak. It's why I often talk about masculinity on the show. Right off the bat, bro. I don't. F okay, I'm gonna put it like this, right? Men are not weak, but they are becoming weak and weaker than women. Because for some reason, they're trying to make women men and men women. They're trying to create a confusion that would traumatize people. People don't know what is true, what is what is not true. You know what I'm saying? They are mixing everything. The wolves in sheep clothing are coming in between everything. They are mixing it, mixing it up, mixing it up. And then people get confused. People don't know what is true and what is not. Well, they don't know what is a lie or what isn't. You get what I'm saying? That's why. That is why. That is why. You gotta get this and read it for yourself. Okay? Read it for yourself. See, if you had the fear of God in you, okay? Things like this you would never do. You would run. Things like this, you will run from it. You will never do anything. You will not even come close to things like this. That will freak you out. Because God. You get what I'm saying? God. Do you not know that your body is bought with a price? I'm trying to see what examples men are even following. And, and I think we all realize now we are facing a crisis. We are facing a crisis of manhood. Uh, not only are men not acting like men in terms of leading their homes responsibly, starting families, making sure that they raise up their children to be strong individuals, but men don't even stand by their words nowadays, right? I remember growing up, my grandfather used to tell me that they could just do deals on a handshake. Oh, I'll do this. You'll do that. Shake hands, walk away, and That's know, right. look the man in the eye, and know that he meant what he said. You could never do that now. You need contracts, you need lawyers, you need fifty thousand pages, and still, if you after you've signed a fifty thousand page lawsuit, it's likely that he might do something to screw you over, him, him or her, right? Because nobody means what they say anymore, and that's upsetting. When you take a look at Hollywood, that example becomes absolutely magnified, right? Because in order to maintain their popularity, they have to pretend to take stances that they don't actually take behind the scenes. And so once in a while, somebody bleeds through the crack and they say something that they actually mean, or they say something that's not offensive at all, Incredible. and then a peer pressure campaign builds because Hollywood is controlled. They are controlled because they are used as a propaganda arm, typically of the government, and they must immediately revoke whatever they said and issue an immediate apology. And that brings me at first to Neo. He was an R&B singer. I like a lot of his music, actually. I've listened to tons of his songs, and he said something that made so much sense on a podcast the other day. That he, of course, had to apologize. What did Neo say? Take a listen. Parents have almost almost forgotten what the role of a parent is. Amen. It's like, okay, if your little boy comes to you and says, Daddy, I want to be a girl, and you just let him rock with that, you just let him. Right. He's five. Right. And where did he get that if from? If you let this five-year-old boy decide to eat candy all day, he's going to do that. Exactly. Like, when, when did it become a good idea to let a five-year-old, let a six-year-old, let a 12-year-old make a life-changing decision for themselves? Right. When did that happen? Right. Like, I don't, I don't understand that. So he sounds passionate and he sounds sensible. He's asking a question that we've all asked ourselves. Could you imagine just giving children the authority to do whatever they wanted? What would your house look like? I have a two-year-old. He would certainly be eating muffins all day. He's obsessed with muffins. Mm -hmm. He would virtually never eat a vegetable if it were up to him. And what he is saying is good for other men to hear because it lets them know that they're not crazy. That yes, the responsibility of parents is to lead a household, yep. not to listen to your children and follow their lead, right? But we live in a different age now where we think that parents are meant to be sensitive to every single feeling that a child has and to allow them to guide how a household is being run. So of course, this ended up being extracted from the conversation and it went viral online and people were discussing it. Many people positively saying, thankfully somebody said it. Me, I'll be honest, I was happy to hear a black man say it in particular because I have noticed the weakening of black men. Yes, it's all men, but particularly of black men has upset me because you know, obviously I identify <laughs> and I, I, I and I think of my grandfather who was the strongest example of a man that I know he was a black man. 
Uh, and he just would have never allowed this foolishness to take place. And so I've been looking for examples in Hollywood of black men in particular that will stand up and say, I don't like the way we are being imaged out into society. And finally, at long last, Neil said something that made sense. Well, here's the thing, right? I, I said this before. I keep saying this. Most of these people in Hollywood, okay, I'm going to say, I'm going I'm to say about 97%, not just Hollywood celebrities, they are scared to lose the, you know, the little fame, okay, the little privilege, the little money, okay, they will do whatever it takes to keep that, that position that they got in Hollywood. That's why you see these people doing bunch of nonsense. Just because they want to keep that position, they they want to get parts in the movies in Hollywood. They want to become superstars, even more superstars. They they want to get stars on Hollywood Boulevard. That's why you see they are using all these 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 celebrities to push that agenda. Okay, they do things on camera that behind closed curtains they do not do, or they might even do worse. You know what I'm saying? But most of the time, they push an image that. They wouldn't push unless they were getting paid for. So pretty much they get the money, they put out negativity, and then the kids, not just the kids, okay? The masses, people see those things, they think it is cool. They're looking up to those celebrities, they see them doing all this nonsense, and they'll be like, yeah, he does it, I'll do it too. If he does it, I mean, it is cool. I will do it too, I want to be like that. That's how you see what society becomes more weaker, more weaker, and more evil, and, and all this evil stuff happening. They would not come out and speak. No, sir, they wouldn't. They will lose everything that they got. Well, that was before he had to, of course, issue an apology, because all of the parents who allow their children to make whatever decisions they want demanded it because Hollywood has now decided on the trans agenda. The government has decided on the trans agenda. And so they expect this black man to buckle. And he did. Here's what he wrote on his Instagram. He wrote, after much reflection, I'd like to express my deepest apologies to anyone that I may have hurt with my comments on parenting and gender identity. I've always been an advocate for love and inclusivity in the LGBTQI plus community. So I understand how my comments could have been interpreted as insensitive and offensive. Gender identity is nuanced and I can honestly admit that I plan to better educate myself on the topic so I can approach future conversations with more empathy. At the end of the day, I lead with love and support everyone's freedom of expression and pursuit of happiness. I wonder, I wonder which PR agency wrote that. It feels copy and pasted. I feel like everyone's always said, I'm going to better educate myself. I'm going to re-education camp. I need to educate myself about the plight of the transgendered individuals in society. And once I come out of re-education camp, I will, of course, realize that everything that they're saying makes sense. And of course, children should be guiding their households. And if my child says that they are a fish, then by golly, I should allow them to stay in the bathtub all day to just trust the process. It's foolishness. It's ridiculous. And it's weak. You should have never apologized. And he's not the only one. The, um, the, there's this... Uh... There's this law, I talked about this before, there's this law that they are coming up with that will pretty much prevent the parents from being, from having the full control of their kids, right? If you're a parent, your kids want to do what they want to do, same things, they have laws, okay? That will prevent you from stopping them. that is that is very very weird that is a very very weird thing to do why would you want to stop a parent from having the full control of the kids